These dogs are gonna give me a run for my money. Clover! We got a puppy running the opposite direction. Dang it. We're just coming around a corner and Cooley and Rue started bowing up and their hackles went up and they start growling. I honestly expected to see a bear or something. It is Saturday evening, about six o'clock, and I got all the dogs loaded up and I am headed to a camp spot. We are gonna camp for the night, but also do a little night hunting for bobcats. And I'm not gonna push it too hard. I just wanna, I wanna see if we can get some, get a cat running um, tonight, probably after midnight or so, but I'm not gonna hunt past sunrise at all today. Well, I always say that. <laughs> And then I end up, and then I end up hunting later. But the plan is, we're just coming out, spending the night in the woods with all the dogs. I got Cooley and Rue and the four puppies, um, Tika, Bruno, Pip, and Clover. Luckily, I can finally fit tracking collars on them. In the last video, I talked about how stressful it was just letting them out without tracking collars. Um, even though they're not going to get very far, they can still run pretty dang fast. And I, I was having a hard time catching them last time. Their recall is pretty good in the backyard with food in my hand. Um, and I started working on tone training with them. But out in the woods, it's just all bets are off. All right, I made it to my campsite. Unfortunately, there's another, another uh, camp set up about a half mile from me. Um, which I was not expecting, kind of way back here, but it is what it is. We've got to share the woods. Um, I got the collars on the dogs, and they're freaking zooming around. Having a great time already. We've only been here for five minutes. So now I got to get my tent set up, and yeah, we're just kind of kind of mess around all night. Um, I'm gonna wait till way later, probably till after midnight, to actually go hunt. Um, and I'm going to try to get away from the camps if possible. But yeah, we're in a pretty cool little area um, up on a ridge and goes way down to a creek down there. Uh, so pretty cool. Puppies can kind of go and roam around as much as they want. And, and yeah, having a good time. Now it's time to set up the tent. And that's that. So these dogs are gonna give me a run for my money. <laughs> I can already tell. I was just trying to set my camp up and I had them running loose. Got their collars on them and everything, but like I look away for 30 seconds and they're 250 yards down this road. It's a dead-end road There's no one down there, but still I couldn't believe how fast they got away from me <laughs> So luckily I ran after them, but I brought Cooley and Rue with me They went and caught up and then I toned Cooley and Rue back and the puppies followed them. So But wow, I was not expecting that these little suckers can run All right, we got camp set up so now, going for a little walk. This is the road that they all took off down earlier. So, it's not very long. But it's so nice to be out here with all these puppies. And I have trailed bobcats through here in the snow before. This is all really good habitat, good, good uh, bobcat terrain. Cooly sniffing like that, that's, that's a good sign usually. Man, six dogs is a lot to keep track of. I'm trying to keep them kind of close to me. Cooly! Good dogs! Hi dogs! 
Good dogs. Good dogs. Hey guys. Good dogs. Good dogs. Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, that's interesting. That looks like cat poop to me. I need all my I need all my scat experts to weigh in. Is that bobcat poop? Is that bobcat poop? We need to know. It's kind of funny. There really is no such thing as just going for a walk with these dogs. I really was like, oh, we'll just take a casual stroll down this road. No, they are hunting. They are hunting. Nose to the ground, they're looking for an animal, which is great. That's what they're supposed to do. But I don't necessarily want to go on a big race right now. Uh, I want to just go back to camp now. So. They have other ideas. One thing's for sure, these pups sure have no problem just bombing right into the woods, following their mama. They're not messing around at all. Oops, sorry, buddy. They're ready to go. Bruno's funny. He's kind of, he's a little cautious. Cooley, come. Come on. We're done for now. Come on. Let's go. All right. Home sweet home for the night. So, got the puppies fed. Everyone used the bathroom. And now they're tucked away in the box. We're going to sleep for a few hours. I'm going to try to sleep. I'm just, I think I'm going to wake up at like 1230 or so. And I'll probably break down camp and just hunt and then go home. But I'm also thinking that there's a lot of people up here. A lot more than I was expecting. So I don't really know how much hunting I'll actually do. But that's okay. I'm kind of thinking of this as a practice run. A trial run with the puppies. This is their first, well, yeah, this is the first time that I've brought them out with tracking collars on them and they got to run last time i was up here i guess which was on tuesday i didn't let them i didn't let them very far because they didn't have collars on them those little suckers can run i'm blown away how fast they can go they're not afraid of anything it seems like they're following their mama they'll barrel right into the brush with her like thick thick brush the salal brush they're tunneling their way through it i couldn't believe it extremely bold dogs i'm really excited about them it's kind of funny i'm like yeah i'm just gonna go to sleep real quick but it's only 8.30 <laughs> and I normally go to bed at like 10.30 or so and usually lull myself to sleep by watching some YouTube videos or something. Um, but hey, this is a good opportunity to read a book. Imagine that. I didn't bring any actual books with me, but I do have my Kindle app. I happen to have pretty good, pretty interesting uh, book that's down downloaded on my Kindle. So I don't know if any of you ever read this book, but I do recommend it. It's free. It's usually free. You can find it anywhere for free. Um, and it's called Hunting Dogs. Yeah, this is a good book. Anybody who likes old books about hunting dogs, this is one to check out. So it's by Oliver Hartley. Um, it's in the it's in the public domain, so you can yeah you can pretty much get it anywhere for free. But yeah, this is actually one of the first books I read about hounds. Um, when I first got Finn years ago, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's all I'll be doing. Just gonna read, try to put myself to sleep. Good morning. So I ended up deciding to not go night hunting last night. The reason for that is there's just simply too many people around here, too many camps, and I don't know where they all are. So, 
the last thing I would want to happen is to have the dogs get something running and then run through somebody's camp in the middle of the night to make a big uh, disturbance. And that just leads to problems. So I just had a nice, I actually slept really good out here on my cot. And yeah, just had a nice sleep. And uh, now we're going for a little hike. Uh, Clover! We got a puppy running the opposite direction. Dang it. Cooley, Cooley, go get Clover. He went into the woods following Cooley and then came out and went the wrong way. That's not good. <sighs> Freaking puppies. That's pretty funny. He ended up just going back to the truck, which is good, I guess. But kind of annoying. Oh, you know what it is? He found himself a piece of bone yesterday. So I think he just bailed off to go f back to get his bone. Come on, Clover. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? Let's go this way. Come on. I think I'm gonna put him on a leash for right now. Come on, guys, let's go. All right, so I got Cooley and Clover on a lead because these two are kind of causing me problems right now. Cooley's wanting to hunt. She just wants to hunt. She doesn't understand the, the idea of just a walk. That is, does not comprehend. That's okay, I get it, but I wanna just walk right now. I wanna go for a puppy walk. And she's off darting around and trying to hunt up a cat, which is what she's supposed to do, I guess. And Clover wants to go back to the truck so he can find his piece of bone that he found. But they need to learn how to walk on the leash anyway. Cooley knows how. Now Clover needs to learn. Earlier, um, I was still sleeping. Cooley and Root started freaking out, blowing up in the dog box where they were sleeping. And I didn't see what it was, but I'm assuming that something actually walked through the camp. Or like walk past down the road that goes past the camp. I don't know what it was. I know there's bobcats and mountain lions around here. But they were losing their mind. I got them to be quiet. But then I, a little bit later, I wanted to go for this walk. So I put the tracking collars on. Let them out. And <clears throat> coolly took off like a bat out of hell. And um, she took off and obviously struck its track, whatever it was. And the race was on. The problem is we are very close to another camp. So, man, this has just turned into way more of a complicated trip than I was hoping for. So I got her back, but now she's all amped up. But hey, she's just doing hound stuff. So that's okay. Come on, boys. Good boys. What are you barking at? What, buddy? What? Let me guess you're hungry.
Come on, Cooley. Hey, stay close to me. Root. <laughs> Good dogs. I found a whole big, huge herd of elk right over here one time. I was one of those elk cleaners. This is where I would be. I'm hoping we don't find them again. Oh, he's sniffing that log. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly where a bobcat would walk. Cooley! Uncle Roo, teaching him the ways. Come on, Cooley. Cooley, let's go. Good boy, Clover. What's up, Bruno? What's up, Bruno? Super old elk tracks. Come on, let's go this way. Cooley. Cooley. The road has turned into a trail. I mean, this is just prime bobcat habitat right here. And I think I want to turn around. Okay, let's brew. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Good dogs. Good dogs. What a day it is turning into. And it's probably time for me to just pack up and go home. We just come around a corner and Cooley and Rue started bowing up and their hackles went up and they start growling. I honestly expected to see a bear or something. But I come around the corner and there are two bow hunters all decked out in camo, face paint, uh, you know, face masks. And all the puppies run up to them. Cooley and Rue are sitting there growling them. They're scared, to sh they're scared like crazy. And 
I gather everybody up, put Rue and Cooley on a leash, and the puppies are still very curious about the bow hunters. Anyways, I talked to them, told them we're leaving, and uh, they asked me if I've seen anything, which I haven't, so. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. And then of course, as we're leaving, everyone's following me, except for Pip. Pip just wants to keep following the bow hunters. So I had to go snag him and put him on a leash too. Crazy puppies. And it's time to go home. All right, so I got my whole camp packed up. No more tent. Dogs are put away. And now it's time to make a little cup of coffee for the road. Gotta keep things classy, so I bring a pour-over set up. <laughs> 